Let's start a new chapter with a poem. Turn on the tap and the water flows. Does anyone know where the water goes? Water is clean and water is cool. Living in rivers and draining in pools. Today there is water when we turn the tap on. But what will you do if the water is gone? Children, can you guess what will be the topic? Yes, you guessed it right. Water. Water carries nutrients to all cells in our body and oxygen to our brain. It helps to regulate the body temperature. Water is very important for all living things. Living things like plants, animals and human beings, they need water. Two thirds of our earth is covered with water. We get water from different sources like rain, river, pond and well. Rain is the main source of water. Rain water helps to fill our water bodies. A river has flowing water. River originates from mountains. River provides excellent habitat and food to animals and plants. A small water body is called pond. Pond provides drinking water during the dry weather and water for agriculture. Wells are seen in villages. Water is drawn from the well by using a bucket tied to a rope. Well provides ample supply of water to use at home and for irrigation. Irrigation means the watering of land to make it ready for agriculture. Uses of water. All living things need water to live. We use water for different purposes, like for drinking, bathing, washing, for irrigation, for cooking and for brushing. The water that we use in our houses comes from the overhead water tank which is pumped up through the bore well. Animal needs water to drink and bathe. Plant needs water to make their own food. Water is precious gift of nature so let us use it wisely and follow the steps to save it. Water is very valuable. We need to save it. Close the tap after the use. Use a bucket to take bath instead of a shower. Do not waste a single drop of water. Clean water is essential not only to remain safe from disease but also to maintain good health. Let us follow some of the safety measures to keep the water clean. It is important to drink fresh and pure water. Dirty water can cause diseases. We can keep it clean in many ways. We should not bath or wash clothes in ponds or in rivers. We should not allow people to throw solid waste or garbage in water bodies. We should educate people about the importance of clean water. We should keep water containers covered. Water should be purified before drinking. The water we get from the different sources is not pure to drink as it contains lots of impurities which results into different waterborne diseases. Ways to purify water. Water is purified at the treatment plant and then sent to our homes through pipes. The raw water is supplied to the water treatment plant where the first five treatment filtration processes start to make the water safe to drink. At home, water can be cleaned by RO plant, by boiling, or by filtration. Properties of water. Water has no shape or size. It is colorless, odorless, and tasteless. It means water does not have a particular color, smell, or taste. Water has three forms solid form, liquid form and gaseous form. Solid form, when we place a tray of water in the freezer, the water changes into ice. Ice is the solid form of water. Liquid form, when ice melts, it changes into water, which is the liquid form of water. It takes the shape of the container in which it is kept. Gaseous form, on boiling water, it changes into steam 
or water vapor. This steam rises into the air in the form of gas. Let us revise. We get water from different sources. The main source of water is rain. We use water to drink, to wash, and to water the plant. All living things need water to survive. Water is very valuable. We need to save it. It is important to drink fresh and pure water. Water should be purified before drinking. At home, water can be cleaned by RO plant or by boiling or through the filtration. Water is colorless, odorless, and tasteless. Hope you enjoyed today's session. Goodbye, children.